welcome to our channel, Ads the Tea Brews. I'm Abby. And I'm Stacy. And so today we decided to do something really fun and we decided to take the books that we are reading and we just picked a tea that went well with them or we just felt like we wanted to have it, like just sounded like the right tea to go with the book. So, you want to go first? Um, sure. So I'm reading for one of my book clubs, Reconstructing Amelia, and this is by Kimberly McCreek. And um, it's a mystery. So there's the single mom and her daughter. In the very beginning, you learn that she um, she actually you think she commits suicide. Um, and so the whole book is the mom going back and forth, present time to um, the time when the daughter is still alive, and going through her kind of coming of age and her struggles in school and with friends and also the mom's um, struggles with choices in life and regrets and um, it's just this whole mystery that is unraveling throughout the book and it's really gripping it's quite a page turner it's a very quick and easy read and to be honest I have not been able to put this down the last couple of days I pick it up every chance I get um, and I am almost done with it and so when I was thinking about the tea that I wanted to pick for this book I chose and this has nothing to do with the book but I chose Peppermint Amour from David's Tea because I realized I've just been going so quickly through it I wanted to slow down at the end absorb all the details and just take a breath and enjoy um, finding out what's happening at the end there instead of just rushing through it so to me Peppermint is very calming and soothing and it just makes me want to stop and breathe. And this says, um, they say peppermint stimulates creativity and enhances your dreams, not to mention its fresh, cool flavor and aroma. Um, this is an organic peppermint and it's just pure peppermint leaves from Oregon and Washington State. And I used to drink a lot of peppermint tea bags and then uh, just when I recently, actually not even when I first started drinking loose teas, uh, in, within the last year I ordered the David's Tea um, version of the peppermint and I've really been enjoying this and I prefer it now to the, the tea bags of peppermint. So I brewed that up so that I can take a breath, slow down, and finish my book and um, not be so excited to hurry up and get through it. Okay, so like other videos that we have done, any other videos that we have done um, showing our books, I am still on the same series. I'm on the last book, the sixth book. The Land of Story series, it is this, a book that I never want to put down. And every part of the book is exciting, and I really love this, these, this series. And, I'm, and as you can see, I'm almost finished. I'm more than halfway through. I have like a, a fourth of the book left. And I'm really excited because it's at like the best part, and I really just want to finish reading it. And so my book is about, so it's called The Worlds Collide, and it's about the world, the fairy tale world and the real world colliding so that a portal opens between the worlds and um, so the two main people Alex and Connor they're twins and they're half um, half magic in their blood and so then Connor their so their grandma is the fairy grandma and she created this potion magic potion um, that if you um, pour three drops on the book, then it'll, then it'll, you can enter the book, and it's really cool. So I picked the tea, David's Tea Magic Potion, because of that magic potion. And it's a, it's a fruit, fruit infusion, and it says, want to see a magic trick? Add a squeeze of lemon to this juicy blue raspberry blend and watch it go from indigo to violet like a mood ring in your mug and that's what, we, what I'm going to do I, we have some lemon and I have my cup of tea do you want me to hold the tea while you squeeze the lemon? Uh, yes okay. and so, let's, your, make sure uh, let's see it. that you can see the color of the tea And then stir it around. And as you can see, it lightened up. It's oh. turning more pink than blue. I think I need a little bit more. A little more lemon? Yeah. I think it takes quite a bit of the lemon. You should have tasted it before to see, compare the taste oh, yeah. with and without them. <laughs> you got me with the lemon. <laughs> this is going 
gun, never mind. Make sure you're careful with this lemon. <laughs> it's gonna smell citrusy fresh in here. I, mean, I don't know if you can see that, but it did change from a darker bluish, more blue type thing to like a pinkish, a little bit pink if you look into it in the light, but. Hopefully they can see that. Well. What do you think? Because I don't think you've had that one, have you? That is actually really good. I've had this iced, but. Oh, that's right, we had it iced. It's and it's the um, butterfly pea flowers that make the, the um, magic trick with the changing of the color. Did you read the ingredients for this? No. It has currants, apples, rose hips, butterfly pea flowers, raspberries, blackberries, stevia extract, natural kiwi, blackberry, and bilberry flavoring. And this tea, um, we had it iced. I think I like it hot better than iced. Yeah. Um, and I actually think I prefer it without the lemon. It's a very sweet tea, so it's one that I reach for if I want something kind of fruity yet sweet. Yeah, so. I can definitely taste the lemon in it. It's actually really good. I actually really enjoy this tea. I'm glad I chose to try it today. My book, but it's, it's like some. the perfect fit for my book. Yep, magic potion. All right, so those are our book and tea pairings um, today. We think that this would be fun to do often when we have a, um, a new book or maybe once Which a week or something. both of us will be finishing our book soon. <laughs> we are both finishing our book soon, so we'll have to, to choose a new one. So maybe we'll start thinking about what teas we want to pair with those. So hopefully you liked this video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe down below. Have a great rest of your day, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.